Hello people, I got good news and I got bad news today. Before we get into it, let's just look at the numbers. So today is going to be our monthly update on the number of booster boxes available in the market, both the European and the American market. So we're going to take a look at both car market and TG player. If you're new to this format, every month I update a spreadsheet where I keep track of the most sought after stolen serial set. I've been doing that since November. So in just a second, we're going to take a look at how the numbers have been moving over this past month, as well as over the last six months. And then as always, by looking at the number, we'll try to draw a conclusion. And as I said at the beginning of the video, we're gonna take a look at what are some good news and some bad news that we can extract from the data. Now, before we get started, a couple of things. I just wanted to mention there are two box breaks playing on the channel. One is Temporal Forces and one is Lost Origin. They're respectively at 2.3 euros per pack and 3.5 euros. Lost Origins come from blisters and temporal packs come from a sealed box. So if you want to join, just join the Discord, which I, I recommend you guys do. Either way, if you like talking about Pokemon investing, as well as you want to claim your spots for the remaining packs. Now, also another thing I want to mention, I'm going to do a Q&A video. So feel free to let me know your answer down in the comments or else just join the Discord and I created a dedicated channel on there. The Discord, it's called Question Channel. So you can ask me your question in there for the Q&A. Now, that being said, out of the way, let's take a look at what's going on. So we've had Chilling Rain, we have Fusion Strike, we have Brilliant, Astral, Lost Origin, Evolving, and here, Tempest. Now, those are not the only sets, just, just keep watching, trust me. What we do here, we take a look at the number of cases and boxes available on both markets. So, it's I think it's pretty needless to say, but we'll go back to it, that all Sword and Shield boxes and cases have been moving higher over the past months, some more than others. However, I do think it's pretty safe to say that they all seen gains over the past two months. Now, enough chatting, let's look at the numbers. So this is a spreadsheet I was talking about. As you can see here, I started to gather data on just four sets in November, and then I continued the journey and uh, started to take on more sets, and right now I keep track of Chilling, Fusion, Brilliant, Astral, Lost Origin, Evolving Skies, and Ever Tempest. But that applies to the American market. Well, you, you could ask, Byer, what are you saying? You also have car market here. Yes, but on car market, there is a bot that I develop, which is available. I'm gonna show you in just a second. And I keep track of not only these sets, all the sets from Scarlet and Violets, many more sets from Soul and Shield, as well as other items such as single cards, and other products, Crown Zenith ETBs, Lost Origin ETBs, any product I want, you guys just need to ask, and I can track of them, and I can keep track of daily data. So daily movements, both supply and prices, and many more things. But enough said, I'll leave you a link if you wanna go check that out, but I will also get back to you in just a second. So without wasting too much of your time, let's zoom in so you guys can see better. So we have chilling here, Fusion, Brilliant, and Astro. Now, as you can see, orange line is car market, and blue line is TG player for all of these four charts. Now, as you can see, if we look at the past month, let's zoom in even closer. For chilling, everything is going up, both in car market and TG player. Fusion, everything is going up, especially on TCG player, as you can see here, they crossed. We went from 43 boxes to 96, so more than 100% increase in supply. And then here, Brilliant, both going up, not as much as for Fusion. Astral has been moving down in the European market and has been moving up again. These are the number of boxes when it comes to the American market you play. Also worth mentioning, as you can see, the most discrepancy, so the higher gap in terms of, again, boxes, was here for Astro. As you can see, the European market was flooded. It looks like they're starting to sell, even though if you, I mean, let's take a look at the past three months. Only four are gone. Obviously there are people listing, people selling. So it's continuous amount of listings and sales, but supply has remained pretty stable. And so as surprise, actually, we're gonna take a look in just a second. Whereas in the, American market for the month of April, it dumped to 53 boxes, and now it's back up at 83. 
Now, these are the number of boxes divided by country. So car market and TG player, they've been all moving higher here on, on car market. However, I think it's much more clear to the eye that the number of boxes TG player has been moving much higher than what we've seen in the European market. And um, I don't know if that's good news. Now, that being said, let's take a look at also evolving skies and lost origin, which I haven't charted because I don't really have that much data yet. As you can see, lost origin 109, 138, and here 71 on TG player and 151. So it has been selling in the EU car market, as you can see, but many boxes have been dumped into the market in the US. And not only that, there are 25 cases available for lost origin in the US. 25, that is the highest number of cases for any of these sets. Now, you may say, but, well, Barry, that's just TC player, just car market, there's eBay, there's private listings. Yes, I know. I know, I'm aware. I say it every time. So I'm aware there's many more boxes and we'll talk about it in just a second at the end of the video. But that's what I do. That's the best I can do. If you appreciate it, I would highly appreciate if you would subscribe, if you don't want to miss out, as well, if you leave a like, that's always appreciated. Help me get to 500 subs and hopefully many more in the future. Now, that being said, Evolving Skies, as you can see here, the number of boxes in the US market have, has decreased. However, in the EU, from 75 to 101. So uh, almost 30 boxes there. And look at the number of cases for EVO Skies, both in the US and the EU. Just Crazy. However, take a look at Tempest. Tempest had a restock in February. I made a video about it in the European Union because if you're not aware, from 151 onwards, the Pokemon company is printing cards in Europe, especially in Belgium and the Netherlands. So Silver Tempest was only printed in the US. That being said, as you can see, it went from 509 and 308. And I actually have daily updates on um, these moves and just Pretty interesting to take a look at. Now, that being said, I'm going to show you in just a second the bot so you can also join and uh, utilize it if you want, as well as all the features that it has. Uh, it's obviously absolutely free. So here's the disker. The bot is right here on a bot chat, bot commands. Now you can query the bot here or you can do it via private message, obviously, to the bot. And uh, these are all the commands list. It tells you all the available items that I have data for plot sheet name suggesting your suggestion. Basically it's Barrett. Can you add, if you, if you type, can you please add evolving skies ETB? Then I'll, I'll see it. I read it and I'll add them. That's it. And then check price. If you want to see if there's any deal available. However, there is a more sophisticated version of this command and uh, it's uh, basically here. The result isn't here. Daily deals. Every day I run that command and it spits out in this channel here, all the product where the lowest listed is at least 10% lower than the average of the four lowest listing. So basically it's kind of a deal finder. That's what I called it. And that has been done every day. Now, if you're American, you want to real better. I'm American. Uh, you only have come market data. Yes, I do. However, hear me out. If we can grow, the more we can grow and the faster we can grow, the more I have the chances that I can also build an equivalent for TG player, which is obviously will be as well, absolutely free. Why am I saying I need to grow? Because in TG player, contact them and ask for, for something. However, in order to contact them, I do need to be a bit bigger in terms of YouTube size. I'm only, I don't even have 500 subs, which is already nothing. Even at 1000, I would still be pretty small guy. So if you guys help me out, then I can help you out. That's all. So that being said, let's jump to the harsh part. So the good news is sword and shield is on the rise. I think that's pretty unarguable. Many boxes are above $200. Those who are not, and I think in um, Silver Tempest, Bell Styles, Vivid Voltage. I mean, to be honest, I don't consider Bell Styles, Vivid, and um, I mean, Sword and Shield base is above 200, but I do consider the best part of Soul and Shield as probably all of you guys, the second half. So I think there's only Astral and Tempest of the second half of Soul and Shield that are below $200, if I'm not mistaken. 
and uh, it's pretty clear that these things are going up. However, the numbers do not look encouraging. Why? As you can see, especially in the US, the number of listings has gone higher, in some cases by 100%. So the supply has doubled and it needs demand to be absorbed. And uh, if you remember, Fusion Strike was one of the sets that had a 2x to 100% increase in terms of supply in the American market. Look at what happened at Fusion Strike over the past month. Flat. Why? That's microeconomics. Again, you double the supply, demand wasn't enough, price is going to be there. It's not going to sell as much and uh, price is not going to move higher because everyone wants to sell. If everyone wants to sell, there's more sellers than buyers. It's, I mean, it's I'm not saying it's a miracle, but it's, it's already a good thing that price isn't dropping. That shows that demand is still there. Otherwise, price would be dropping. But this flat here chart of price at 230, we can see that in the numbers. We can see that in the supply doubling. And that's one of the reasons why I keep track of this data. Now, that being said, it was also expected if you bought Fusion at 150, you could be happy selling at 230. If you bought a 120, 130, you could be happy selling at 230. If you bought at 80, you could be the one who sold at 150. The moment we buy, we all are someone's liquidity. Don't forget that. For every buyer, there must be a seller. So those who are buying now, I doubt they're going to sell until it gets to 300, 350, if it gets there. Can it get there? Yes. Will it? I don't know. Nobody does. So it kind of looks like a profit taking stage at this point, which is why we could see these boxes starting to move sideways, stagnate for a bit, which what it's what we've seen over the past month. And uh, where did that money go? Scarlet and Violet. If you look at Scarlet and Violet singles, I made a couple of video about it. They've been skyrocketing. Nobody wanted them uh, two months ago. Now everyone, everybody wants them. They're moving higher, which is why I was able to make some plays on Scarlet and Violet singles. No, because they were so cheap and nobody wanted them. Demand shifts. That being said, I wouldn't be too worried if you hold any of these sword and shield boxes, especially if you bought back in the days when these were cheap, 150, 140, and anything below that. Would I buy now? No, I wouldn't. Why? Because I don't believe in the product? No, it's not because of that. It's because it doesn't fit my strategy. I stick to my strategy. I buy low and sell high, or at least I try to sell higher than what I bought. That being said, guys, again, I would highly appreciate if you could subscribe. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions for your Q&A, as well if you enjoy this format. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be seeing you in the Discord, and I'll see you in the next one.